Hello everyone! Today I tell you about the Catan, or more accurately, the Catan Shards. First I will go through the shared history with the Necronteur, shortly. Contact was made somehow, but it happened. Catan presented themselves as a half-forgotten guards of Necronteur, while wearing cloaks of deceptive servants for them. Deceiver got an audience with the Silent King. He told that he and his brothers have waged war long before Necronture against the Old Ones. Alliance was formed after long debate and Biotransference started. Ketan swarmed around the Biotransference areas and they grew in power while drinking the cast of life. Star Gods unleashed their full powers against the Old Ones, raising planets, creating black holes to destroy whole systems. While at it, Necrons harvested the life force of the defenders and fed that to their Ketan allies. After the victory against the Old Ones, Silent King revolted, unleashing this living universe's unimaginable energies into weapons. The Ketans are impossible to be destroyed, so instead they shatter into thousands of fragments and these fragments was bound within Tesseract Labyrinths, like genies in a bottle. So. Ketan shards are the remains of once almighty and powerful beings, now serving their old allies instead being themselves in control. Should Ketan shard rebel, they will be immediately whisked back to its tomb, there to stay so long until time is dire to use him again. Still, even though Ketans are reduced in power and stature, they still are powerful beings with near unlimited powers and only two things limiting them. Imagination and what they were before being shattered to shards. Simply put, they could destroy enemy tanks just by exploding it, but instead they might turn the crew into primordial ooze or turn the crew against their comrades. If you wish to defeat Ketan Shard, you must breach the Necrodermis, the hyperphysical skin of living metal that cages them. When this happens, Shard explodes in a binding energy and scatters to the galactic winds. They are Transcended Ketans, who are the most powerful of their kind. Unleashing them would be more dangerous because if they stay long enough outside of their prison, they gain back their memories and will be harder to control and, in worst situation, lose it completely. No one really knows how many Ketan shards there is in the galaxy. Some of them might be hiding in the planet's core or at the edge of the galaxy itself, hmm? but no one knows. And this concludes the short lore of the Ketans. At first I thought I should not make a video about them, because they are not Necron food soldiers, but they are a pretty important part of their history. You can find more info about them and names of certain important Ketans from the internet, so feel free to do so. Or even codexes. But I will do videos about the new units coming for the Necrons in future when I get the rulebook slash slash codex or just read it from the internet. So. Thank you for watching, like and comment if you will feel generous, and until next time you all, bye bye!